Okay, uh, the groaning montage is all done and dusted. Uh, if you watched the last episode, which I, I really don't know if you have or whether you're watching this one anyway because the channel's so new and whatnot, but in case you have, the plan was to go battle the rival now, so we'll, we'll do that if I can actually get this thing to move. I wasn't click on screen, but we are now, so we're all good. Uh, we have the three party members should be on the layout, I guess, so there's no point in really going through them. I think I got all but Bidoof to level 9 and Bidoof is level 8, so it's like not really all, it's more like two of the three or something like that. But, you know, it's cool, it's whatever and stuff. Yeah, alright, we're leading off with the right Pokemon as well. Alright, um, I haven't played these games in a while, so I'm not 100% certain on everything, but yeah, okay, there is a rival battle here. Let's see how we go. Let's see this. How we going? What's up, Crash? Hey, Freddy, tell me you got a little top off. Me? Blah, 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 blah. Me? Do you even need to ask? Of course I got a top off. Come on, I'll demonstrate it to you. Actually, I'm not sure whether he does later in the game or whatnot, but he didn't smash into us this time. He was just waiting there, which is nice. Okay, level seven. So we're, we're, we're leveled all right. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm reasonably happy with this. Hopefully we can kill him off without having any sort of problems or whatever. And, but yeah, that's, that's just hopeful at this stage. Although he hasn't even gone to hit us yet, so I think I think we should be all right. I think we should be all right. Gets the quick attack, not even a problem. All right, cool. Kill. And Watts is nearing level ten, so that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go into Bidoof just because my attack is insanely low off all those grounds. And he is the level 9, alright. What are you gonna do? Just tackle me? I can take some tackles. Tackle him. Okay. And now he's raising his defense. So if he's gonna do that, I'm just gonna lower his attack. That way we just sit here forever, because why the hell not, right? I mean Actually, no, we've got two lowered, alright. We'll just we'll just spam tackle, I guess now. Spam tackle over and over. We should be alright from here. If we can just deal with the fact that he's withdrawing <laughs> every bloody turn. God damn it. Come on, Crash. Come on, Crash. Wow, we got a... Cr the crit, the crit, come on. Honestly, if I have to lose any team member, as awesome as the nickname Doof Doof Smiley Face is, in my opinion, he'd be the one to go. Because the barrel is just... But it's just not as good as a Luxray or an Empoleon. And especially since Empoleon's shiny, which is spoiler alert for you guys who have been cheating and not watching the first two episodes, but yeah, I started with a shiny pip up. If you want to know my reaction, go and watch the first video and then like enjoy the rest of the series or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, seriously. You're doing this wrong if you don't watch from episode one, in my opinion. But I don't know, whatever. Well, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. No, it's not gonna be because if I lose to you next time, then I lose the lock, and that, that's not my plan. I'm gonna be the world top trainer, and you know it. First thing to do is take on the Oberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that totally. Yeah, you could you could use with the toughening up, but. I'm gonna take this opportunity to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And actually, I think we'll also put Hiplop up first because now it's level nine and Shinx, I nearly forgot the name of Shinx or Watts is level 10, so that means that, oh god damn. So that means that uh, Piplop could use the leveling and really, I'm just gonna have Bidoof sitting at level eight for the moment because I don't know whether you guys know, like, the rates at which Pokemon grow and whatnot, you know, just a rough idea, because how could you possibly know all of them, but when I was grinding, I noticed that Bidoof takes a lot more to grow than than um, either Piplup or Shinx, so I was just like, wow, okay, I'm going to avoid training you as much as possible, because this is just going to be painful. But, you know, it's like, it's whatever. It, it's really whatever, so... Um, next up on the agenda, where are we going from here? Oh, we can catch a new Pokemon, yeah. 
E okay, route two or three. What's our first encounter for this Nuzlocke? Where does Nuzlocke? Nuzlocke. What do we get? Okay, first encounter is. First encounter is. It's a freaking Zubat. God damn it. Alright. Um. It's. It's not Duke's claws or anything, so I guess I'm gonna have to catch the stupid Zubat. We'll just go for a bubble. And we nearly killed it. Is, is it bad to say that I'm kind of disappointed I didn't kill it? Because now I feel obliged to catch it. <laughs> oh, Zubat's just so bad. Like, Golbat's not terrible, and Crobat is actually decent, but Zubat is just awful. Just awful. Um, let's call it, um, um, it doesn't have any eyes. So let's call it something like that. Let's... Actually, you know what? It doesn't have any eyes, so I'm gonna call it Spec Savers. Because I think that's funny. Just, I don't know. I don't know. You guys maybe know it, but to me, calling something blind is. Spec Savers is funny. Spec Savers. Alright, I can, I can spell this. I can spell this. That'd be it, wouldn't it? I guess. Spec Savers. Alright, and. I guess I'll just. Leave that where it is and battle this dude over here. Wait, what do you want? What do you want? Krigatot and a Zubat. Okay, so he's already told me what his party is, so that's... I don't know, that's cool, I guess. Thank you, youngster Michael. And Krigatot is who he's at first, just like he said, so... You know what, at least he's not lying to us. At least he's not lying to us. And he goes for a bide. Dangerous. I'm gonna lower your attack then. Lower your attack so that you don't hit me as hard. Or at least, I hope. Or at least that hook. Um, and then we go second. In case we don't go second, I'll go for another growl. Okay. Wow, that did so much. Look at how much that did. Oh my god. What the hell? I get the feeling you only know bites. I'm gonna go for a growl again. Yeah, there we go. He's gone for the bite again. So I'm just gonna go for two growls, and then I'll go for the pound on the following turn. I'm gonna see if I can outplay this guy. Outplay. Come on. Unleashed energy fail, and we go for pound. Excellent. Alright, we should be able to kill from here, so we'll just go pound. Cool, cool. Exactly what I was hoping. And Piplup doesn't make level 10 just yet, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world. And and now we've got a level 6 Zuba to face. Let's see we can pound that too. Pound everything! Pound all the things! And Leap Seed is not a problem, so we're gonna pound again. And Leaf Seed is still not a problem, so we're gonna pound again. God damn, the early part again. Real boring. My god damn. It's like, I, I see people play through games all the time, and it, that doesn't seem so bad early on, but I don't know, maybe maybe it's because I'm actually doing stuff while I watch other people's videos rather than paying 100% attention. Whereas when I'm playing, I can't do that. I, I have to pay attention, so it's like, ah. Kind of like how the grinding montage, I suppose, is not so bad for when you're watching it. It's like, oh yeah, grinding wasn't terrible, you know, I know I know you complain and I know it takes a while, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. But, like, literally, it took me half an hour to grind my Pokemon from where they were at the levels they were at the start of this episode. And I thought that was a long time, so for those people who grind for, like, an hour or two hours, I, like... I'm scared that I'm gonna have to do that later on, because I am not prepared for that. Like, that's just annoying. That's just gonna make me go insane, and I'm gonna go, ah! I don't know. I don't know, guys. And there, the Pokemon healed and stuff, and I'm gonna leave, uh, do I even, you know what? I'm not, I'm gonna put Zubat in the box. I'm not gonna leave it in the party. That way I don't have to update the layout because that's just something annoying to do and it's like at this stage it's not a part of the party anyway, so Yep. I Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna bother with that. I'll just Oh no, you're not dead, are you? Oh, I have to move you to box one. Yeah, so okay, so Specsavers goes into box one over there. And um then we can continue on. We can continue going to rap. What is it, 204 or something? I don't know. I don't know. Also, if you guys saw the grinding montage a bit, you'll notice that I took on a couple of trainers up on the route up ahead. 
and I did that because I thought this game will be really slow if I don't start including trainers into the battles and stuff like that for grinding so I thought you know I'll include as much as possible or you know whatever and I'll keep the key bits for on camera stuff and blah blah blah, blah. I, don't, I don't know anymore I really don't know I'm just gonna battle this dude come on um he's something about a shinx I don't know uh, I'm just in a different mindset today I basically I just realized that I have a lot more work for uni than I thought I did For you guys who don't know what uni is it's essentially the college equivalent in Australia the difference is that you don't really live on the university campus basically like college but you go home every night kind of like school or whatever I guess but it, it's otherwise the exact same so I don't know tell me but um, we'll face this dude as well because we can and hopefully we get stuff done in this episode and everything's all good and stuff like that but yeah I'd basically I'd totally forgotten about a couple things for uni that I have to do and then I remembered it probably like I don't know, maybe half an hour ago, like, oh shit, I've got these things to do, and I won't bore you with details or anything, but, like, have you guys ever forgotten about stuff that you have to do and then remembered, and it's not that it's necessarily due, like, immediately, but it's all stuff that's going to take time, and it's time that I don't want to put in to. I mean, I, I will because I have to, and I won't get anywhere if I don't do it, but it's like, I don't want to actually go and do it, I'd prefer to just, you know, spend my time doing the stuff that I want to do, like uploading and recording and getting better and, you know, stuff like this and Pokemon and blah blah, I don't know. Alright, what did we, did we get to level, yeah, alright, we got to level 11 with Pengu, so we can go back for Watts right about now, and we can train Watts again. You a trainer? Nah, oh, we couldn't even make it to you. I'm so glad I didn't run into Cricket Bus first, like I know. Actually, I guess it didn't really matter because I'm not running here, I'm using the Zubat anyway, huh? Guess I'm not using that, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, you are a trainer. Wow, okay. And you found a trainer while looking for wild Pokemon. Firstly, you weren't even looking in the grass or moving in the grass for that matter. You were kind of looking away from the grass, so I don't know. Whatever, you've got a level 4 Bidoof, so I think I should be okay. I think I should be okay, unless you get like five crits or something. Not that you get the opportunity to think. No, but I got the crits, not you, so... Okay. <laughs> Whatever. And you said in Starly, because Starly is good against the Shinx, apparently. Y you, you haven't been watching my Wi-Fi battle videos, then. Have you, lass, whatever your name is. Yeah. You should go check out mine and... Probably, you'll probably need to check out more than mine if you send out flying types on an electric type, but you know, it's, it's whatever. I don't have electric type moves yet, so I guess I'll let it slide. I guess. Oh, goddamn, Absorb. That, I swear, Absorb for June nearly screwed me over in the grinding montage as well. Like, I know that sounds ridiculous, but when Shinx was level 4, level 5, and I was facing Pokemon around the same level as it in the wild, like, Growth Absorb Budju was a thing that was concerning. Big areas. It could get its health back and it could increase its special attack. Unlike many that could just tackle. Like, all I could do was just tackle. And I was just like, ah, shit. But I managed to get fired because Bidoof saved me. So Bidoof is a little bit useful. Or at least it was. I don't know whether it still will be or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's randomly talking about shit. Alright. And, oh, goddamn, one step, one measly step before we run into a wild Pokemon. Uh, hang on. Now I'm remembering something, because my Shinx, I don't think, has Intimidate. Let me check that real quick. No, mine has Rivalry. Oh, not bad. That would explain why Tackle seems to vary a lot in, um, what am, what am I thinking? Tackle seemed to vary a lot when I was versing different Pokemon, like for some wild Pokemon that I was grinding against, I'm like, yeah, Tackle's doing alright, and then for some I was like, shit, I'm not getting anywhere, but rivalry would explain it. I wonder if it loses rivalry or keeps it, because if it doesn't lose rivalry, that's going to be something that I have to think about. 
my Packle's gonna do nothing against this female Psyduck, so... I don't know. I don't know. I'll, just, I'll go out into Bidoof because of that. Doof, 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 smiley face. Doof, doof, smiley face. Oh god, not that your tackle does a lot anyway, but I'm serious. Come on. Look how much that scratch does. Scratch OP. Ban scratch for Ubers. Must ban. Nerf now. Um. Looks like I'm going out into. What, I guess. Even though the rivalry is a problem, I guess I'm going out into. What, so. Tackle it is. Oh wow, that seems to do a lot for a Pokemon with rivalry. Okay, whatever. And now we're low on health with our entire party. Okay, this is interesting. Last Madeline. You say, ooh la la. You French Madeline? I guess you have a somewhat French name. Yeah, you could be French. It's possible. Something about an ex-defendant. It's where my emulator is crazy. It runs all the battles like, I don't know, say 1.2 speed off the top of my head, but then it runs like the main gameplay at maybe like 0.9 or something. I, I don't know the exact amounts because I don't know where to find it or whatever, but it's like, I feel like when I'm running, I go, uh, 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 but and then when I'm walking, it's even worse. But when I'm in battle, it seems to be going really fast. I don't know. I really don't know. It's it's not terrible. It's usable. It's manageable. Okay, so now that we've cleared out all those trainers, though, we can go ahead into... Is it Orberg Cave or is it something else? I honestly don't remember. And then we can get an encounter in there, and then we can go into Orberg City, because I know it's Orberg City. And then we can go check the gym leader, and depending on time, we may or may not battle against him. May or may not, I'm undecided. So we can probably get a encounter just outside Orberg City. Oh, oh, too far up. My bad. My bad. I fixed it though. I fixed it, you guys. Don't worry, I fixed it. And now we can go down and go across the route 203. We can slowly run through just. <laughs> left foot, right foot. Left foot, right foot. Okay. Come on, get to the other side. Wait, you actually moved this time. She actually does move, you guys. She actually does move. So it looks like she could potentially be looking for wild Pokemon. You're not a trainer, are you? Yeah, you don't. Okay. Something about it is blah blah blah. Give this hidden machine. Oh, okay, he gives me. What's that, Rock Smash? Okay, I'm gonna teach Doof Doof Smiley Face Rock Smash, actually. I think I'll do that right now, because. Rock Smash could be useful for the gym because I don't really have moves that can damage rock pads, so we'll do that really quick. Teach Rock Smash to. Oh, well, but it's the only one that can learn it. So it looks like but it's the right choice because I don't have any options. Because I don't have any options. And I'm tempted to just go around you, so let's do that. And here's the first encounter right behind your back. How did you not see the Pokemon coming? Ooh, Psyduck! This could be interesting. This could be very interesting. And Rivalry will hopefully help me out here. Yep, okay, good. Not too much damage, that's what I want. And Psyduck weakens Fire's power. That's a... that's not a problem. That's... I don't have a Fire type. There's been no Fire types available for capture yet, so that's not a problem. Actually, you know what? I vaguely remember that in Platinum they had to bring a whole bunch of fire types from previous regions into the game because there were legitimately two fire types available during Diamond and Pearl and they were like Ponyta and Chimcha. Those were legitimately the two ones available, so yeah. If, if you guys don't believe me, you can go check that out. I'm pretty sure it's something stupid like that. So, oh, then this guy tells me about some... Oh no, he tells me about the mines or something, doesn't he? Oh, I didn't give Psyduck a nickname, I just realised that. No! Ah, oh, damn, Psyduck has to go in the PC until I can nickname it. My bad. My bad, you guys. I'm sorry. Damn it. I don't even know what I would have called it, though. Yeah, I'm aware that Crash is there. 
But I thought you told me about the mines. Huh. I don't know. I guess you don't. I guess you don't, because if you would have, you would have said something, but you didn't say something, so I guess you don't. Huh. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, and now we can go to this thing and the the bad the, and the yep and I know what I'm doing. Alright. Move Pokemon and um, get here and yeah, I have to You know what? So that I can remember, I'll put side up down here so that I see that it's different and it's special. Because I I I done goofed. Just it's it's easy to say I done goofed. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Now, rather than talk to Barry because he's just gonna bore me, I'm gonna go up to this route here, whatever this is, and get another capture because captures for days. Route 207. And what do we find on Route 207? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Look at the emulator screwing up. And we found a Pokeball. Okay, that helps us catch Pokemon, so sure, why not? Why not give me a Pokeball? Give me the Pokebra! Pokebra! Okay, and first encounter is... What do we get? A Geodude. Well, that's not interesting at all. But I can't damage it unless I swap out. So, I guess I'm swapping out. And uh, this is not an altered game in any way. This is a straight version of Platinum, so I won't be able to evolve this thing into a Golem. So the furthest I can get with this thing is a Graveler. And uh, that's not amazing. It's really not, but I'll still catch it because, I don't know, the Graveler's not terrible, I guess. I don't know. I have honestly, I don't remember the last time I've used the Geodude line in any sort of Pokemon game. I guess the last time I've used a golem would be Gen 5 NU Competitive, Custapberry Explosion for the win, but other than that, I don't remember using the Geodude line at all, but you know what, it's cool. And I know that people call Geodudes Rocky in hand dubs and stuff like that, and you know what, that's somewhat funny, but I, I want to be original, so I'm going to call you... I'm going to call you Legs. Let's call you Legs, because it's ironic. Legs. There we go. Legs the Geodude. Not bad. Welcome to the party, Legs. Hey, look, it's not screwing up anymore. I don't know. Maybe my game's just screwing up on me. I, I don't know. I really don't know. But we caught Legs the Geodude and... Um... What level's Legs? What level is Legs? Let's have a look. Level 7. Yeah, I guess you can stay in the party. Um, actually, now while I think about it, I'm gonna change up. No, not you. I'm gonna put... Doof Doof Smiley Face first, and we're going to see what we run into first in the Orberg Mine, and... Oh, god damn. And, um, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to see what we run into first in the Orberg Mine, and then we will catch if we don't kill it. Because that's what the Nuzlocke says that I can do, but first we're going to get these items over here, whatever they may be, if I can face upwards. A yellow shard for things that I don't know what are for. Not in this game anyway, I know in other games you can like keep moving and shit, but and a dire hit, which in my opinion is completely useless, but or, I don't know, whatever. And that goes in the battle item thing. So we can sell the die hit, I guess, so it's not completely useless. It's not completely useless. And there's what, it gets crits or something, I guess? Ah. I really don't know. Ooh, there's another item over here. Nope, nope. Nope, one more. Okay, there we go. And the item is... Ah, oh, no, first encounter first. Encounter first. And there's another Geodude. I am playing by Duke's Force in case I haven't mentioned that. I know I mentioned it in another episode, but like I've said before, some people cheat the system and they don't watch the earlier episodes. So, Duke's Claws, I'm not catching no Geodude. Not again. I've already got legs. Um, I turn around and get another encounter, which is another legs. Okay, there's legs everywhere. All the legs, or something. I don't know. I don't know. And we keep going down deeper, further into the mine. And looks like we're gonna have to find our first encounter in here. 
up, and we run into the wall. And there's more legs. <laughs> wow, if there's only geodudes in this, then I can't catch anything. Which would suck. <laughs> Which would suck big time. Do you guys battle me? Something tells me you do. Oh, you do! Alright, sweet. We can get some training off in this place, I guess. I guess. Oh, you know what would be good? I could do the stuff I'm supposed to do, and then I can come back here and train up just for the gym leader if we run out of time. That'd be it. Oh, we get defense balls from the Rock Smash as well, huh? That is a good move. Like, for this stage of the game, I mean, not really good, I guess, but like, again, Rock types when I don't do any damage and Rock Smash is a terrible move, getting defense drops is pretty helpful. If it gets the defense drop, apparently. <laughs> oh, god. Yeah. Nuzzle is so much better than Rock Smash. Rock Smash is terrible! Look at the pitiful damage for a super effective move. Come on, Biddle. You can do better. You can get the kill. You're a smiley face, for Christ's sake. And we killed him. Okay. Alright, so. Spamming A that entire battle. Uh, we do level up Dilk Dilk Smiley Face, who learns Defense Curl, and I will be using Defense Curl over and over again. Not not really, but I don't know. And we're going to get this Pokeball, and we're going to see if we can run into something that isn't legs now, because I've already got legs, and I don't need more legs. That works, I guess. And we're going to talk to you, because you have a different sprite, yeah. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. Blocking my way what? Blocking my way what? Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. You didn't finish your sentence! You didn't finish your sentence! Ah! English! Ah! God damn it. Okay, now let's have a look at this item over here. Oh, another encounter. Not legs. Not legs. God damn it, legs. <sighs> damn it. Actually, I don't think I can ever evolve legs. Because if I evolve legs, then his name's no longer ironic, and people are gonna be like, Oh, why'd you call him legs? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, but, I, I don't know. I thought you could run into, like, wild onyx here. Maybe not. Maybe you can't. Maybe I've been going insane. Because it seems like you can only run into Geodudes. And that's too close. And I didn't associate an, an amount of re-rolls that I'd be doing. So I'm just not going to catch it because it's too close. So, I don't know. Nope, we run into other stuff. But it's stuff that we've already caught. And I've already got my spec savers, thank you very much. And I can't escape. Oh. There we go. Yeah, can't escape my ass. My ass. My ass. And I'm gonna see if I can get out of Orberg Mine now. Ah, blah. I'm really gonna need to invest in repels for future parts of this game. I really, really am. God damn it. Alright. Okay, how are we going? Alright. And let's keep going. Get up to the Pokemon Center. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Oh, God. Get out of my way, you. And into the Pokemon Center, slowly closing the door and going up to no Joy. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys are wondering if it's your computer or whatever, that's me being an idiot. So calm down. Calm down. There's nothing wrong. And if you're thinking the game speed's running all weird like and stuff, that's probably my emulator. If you can hear my voice normally, then it's my emulator because, I don't know, it just seems to function all sorts of funny. I don't know. I apologize, but at least I get gameplay up. At least I get gameplay up, right? Right? I don't know. You tell me, man. You tell me! And you know what? No, I'll leave legs in the party. Because why not? Why not leave legs in the party? And I'm gonna put Pip up, blah 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 blah, Pip up up first though. And Booktip Smiley Face will be my backup, and Leg will be my 
Pokemon that I swap into if I need to heal up or whatever. Well, I clicked off again. My bad. I think I did that like eight times during the grinding montage and stuff. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever. I'm gonna go straight into the gym if I can. Hopefully, oh yes, good. Okay, didn't even have to pop the crash. Oh, thank god, I didn't have to pop the crash. Oh, hey buddy, what's up? Something. There's this. You avoided the long way around. Let's see why you do that. I avoided the long way around because I actually want to gain more experience before battling the gym later. But, you know, it's like, I don't know, have a go at me if you want. Be, be that guy and have a go at me for wanting to get more experience and not lose my nuzlocke, okay? Oh, you survived with one HP. No. I'm gonna have to go for that powerful pow. Pow, pow. And we get to level 12, alright, not bad. Shiny Pengu. Pengu, Pengu. Oh, this is also a message to the people that are watching this in the future. I know you're watching this in the future. I can tell, because you're not watching this now. And I know you're not watching this now, because you're watching that in the future. What do you have to say about that, huh? It's some next level shit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, how do you feel about that? There's the Onyx. Now, if I could have run into that into the, in the Orberg mine, that would have been great. But I guess not. I guess not. Actually, I can check the Pokedex and see if it is found in your Berg mine. And if it is, then I can waste time and go back and catch it off screen. But not really off screen, but like I can do it in the grinding mode first for the next episode, I guess. Nope, not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Okay, Pokedex. Where, where the hell's Onyx on this thing? Probably near the bottom. Nope, there it is. Found it. Area, where are you found? Um, where is that? Is that the Obo mine? Yeah, it looks like the Obo mine. Alright. Looks like I will be going back in there and catching it. Um, and I guess next episode we're gonna be taking on this dude. I feel like I should show him rather than standing like this. Nah, nah, not like that. Like that, because that's kind of rude, I guess. But you know what? I'm gonna go and heal. But the Pokemon Center, what do, what do you say? Do you give me a potion like they do in Black and White? In Black and White 2? Howdy, how's it going, Chapter B? How do you know I'm gonna be a champ? I, like, I, I appreciate it. I, I wanna be the champ, but, like, it's, like, either you're predicting something or you've gone insane. But whatever, like, that's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. Yeah, he's not, he's not gonna be champ. I can guarantee that. The gym leader is here as a rock type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass type moves. Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it'll be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Yeah, I, I don't think he can cover for weaknesses because I don't think there's a rock grass type that you can find this early in the game or a rock electric type or just a rock type that can learn either of those two moves. In fact, I'm not aware of a rock electric type and something tells me there is a rock grass type, even though I can't think of it right now. I don't know, I could I could be wrong, but I know like a bunch of grass ground types, but rock grass for whatever reason I can't think of on my head, so maybe there's not one. Maybe there's not. But I know for fact, well maybe not for fact, but I'm like 90% certain there isn't rock electric. But you know what, I'll, I'll probably end up putting that in an annotation thing if there is and saying my bad, but... I'm pretty sure it's not my bad, because I'm pretty sure I'm right. But, either way, this is episode 3, and we are starting to get stuff done. Um, in the grinding montage, I'll battle more people down in the Oberg mine, down in this direction here. And, um, then I'll uh, battle the gym at the start of the next episode, and I'll see if I can catch an Onyx in the grinding montage too, if I can remember. But, if I can't, whatever, it doesn't matter. And... In the meantime, though, we're going to be saving in front of, what are you, the museum, I guess? I know you're the place where you arrive fossils. Yep, museum. They're normally museums where you arrive fossils or whatever. So, I'm saving here, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. I'd really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I don't fight people. So, if you subscribe, 
I appreciate that too. I do have a Twitter, I'm not 100% certain how to use it yet because I just sort of started up for this channel. If you want to join there, I'll update when I upload videos and whatnot and stuff like that, I swear. And um, let me think what else. Go check out my other videos. I guess you found this one, so you can go watch the other videos. Yeah! But uh, in all seriousness, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, Freddy Fishfinger, out! <laughs>